Checking the voltage, load testing, and charging the battery are essential practices to maintaining your lawn or garden tractor. Lawn tractor batteries are considered an SLI battery, which stands for starting, lighting, and ignition. This battery supplies a large amount of energy for a very limited time period and can power thousands of start sequences successfully. A 12 volt battery consists of six interconnected cells in series, in which the rated voltage is approximately two volts for each cell. In a 12 volt battery, the battery casing is made of plastic divided by separating walls and connected in series by cell connectors. This is important to remember because when the voltage is predictably low, say 10.5, that means one of the cells has probably gone bad. Ideally, the voltage on a lawn tractor battery should be maintained at at least 12.6 volts or higher. Below 12.6 volts is approximately 80%, and while the engine may start, depending on the ambient conditions, it would be ideal to recharge immediately. Checking battery voltage. A multimeter or a basic algorithm load tester should be used to check the voltage of the battery as a first step. Perform this task by connecting the positive on the tester to the positive on the battery, then connect the negative. When removing, always remove the negative first, then the positive. Here, this battery, which is several years old, has been tested and it's reporting 12.57 volts. The battery should be recharged, especially since the tractor may not be used on a frequent weekly basis. Cold cranking amps, or CCAs, are a vital piece of information, in addition to voltage, needed to maintain a tractor battery. CCAs are a numerical rating printed on the sticker on every single SLI battery, which define the battery's ability to crank an engine in cold temperatures. Generally, when comparing batteries for purchase, the more CCAs, the better, so long as the battery meets the fitment requirements for the engine. To assess the CCA of a given battery, ensure that the correct CCA listed on the sticker of the SLI battery is entered into the load tester. Hit OK and allow the algorithm-based load tester to identify the state or condition of the battery. Typically, the amount of CCAs the machine tests are listed at the output. Here, the battery tester reported 370 and 362 CCAs on two different tests with 12.54 volts. It got an okay rating, which means that it passed the test. If the SLI battery, number one, fails to have sufficient voltage, or number two, fails to pass the load test, then it should be recharged. Manufacturer guidelines must be followed regarding the charging of the SLI battery. A compatible charger is required to charge the battery, and it is important to follow all battery and tractor manufacturer guidelines. Removing the battery from the engine is not necessarily required. However, some literature recommends removing the negative battery terminal. The compatible battery charger should be placed near, but not on top of the battery being charged. Clamp the red positive alligator clip onto the positive battery terminal. Next, clamp the black negative alligator clip onto the negative battery terminal. Finally, the charger should be plugged into the power cord connecting into a grounded electrical outlet. It is not appropriate to charge a battery in an engine that is hot. In addition, it is not advisable to charge a battery when the ambient conditions are above 80 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly above 25 degrees Celsius. Modern battery chargers have a computer that manages the current flow and will tell you when they are complete. Manual chargers will not, and this can be dangerous. Last but not least, Complete eye protection and gloves should always be used when charging a battery, since batteries generate explosive gases that can be very dangerous. Removing the charger and retesting the battery once the charging procedure is complete. To disconnect, remove the plug from the grounded electrical source. Next, remove the black alligator clip from the negative battery terminal. Finally, remove the red alligator clip from the positive battery terminal. Finally, test the battery once more now that the charging procedure is complete. Here, the voltage is showing as 13.54 volts. This voltage typically goes down as time passes. The tester reported 394 cold cranking amps against a rating of 300 for the battery, which is good. Congratulations, we've covered the basics of voltage, load testing, and charging a lawn or garden tractor battery. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment, give a thumbs up, consider subscribing to this channel, and click on the bell icon for future updates. Thank you for watching.